Today, a first on the channel from the world's leading Irish whiskey brand. You all know and love it, I'm sure, the brand that is. Me, it's been a real hit and miss relationship, but I got nothing but respect for them. Let's drink some whiskey. Welcome to Whiskey and Whiskey. I'm the Whiskey Chaser Brian here in Christie's Bar, Kilkenny. Hope you're doing well. So another new release. And I'm delighted to say that my senses are just about back to normal. Well, certainly better than they have been for the last few weeks, for sure. Now, I am excited to have this particular release on the channel. It's a first from the brand I've had here on Whiskey and Whiskey. Um, there may or may not be a good reason behind that, but yeah, it's here and we're gonna drink it. And then I'm gonna give you my thoughts. Now, for some, the regular version of this is highly regarded as one of their best value drinking whiskey that packs a serious flavor punch. Since when do I like to do regular type release whiskeys on this channel though? Ever. I like my limited editions. Guilty. This is the brand new limited edition release from Irish Distillers, Jensen Black Barrel Proof Blended Irish Whiskey. So what's the deal with this being the first Jensen I've had on the channel, I hear you say? Don't know how this is gonna go down, but admittedly, I'm not the biggest fanboy when it comes to Jensen products. I know it's the best selling Irish whiskey in the world, and they do have some seriously amazing releases. I'm not branding all them under the one umbrella that I don't like, but in general, uh, the kind of core range stuff doesn't really excite me very much. And that still holds true to the non-cast strength version of this release. Um, I'm not the biggest fans of that either. Um, but, you know, teach their own, right? At least I'm honest with you. However, it wasn't until I was at a friend's wedding some years back where the second day party was kicking off. Big deal here in Ireland. And the groom decided he would break out a bottle of whiskey that he and his new wife had recently filled on a distillery trip. Naturally, my curiosity was aroused. I was ready to partake. I was in the mood. The bottle was taken out of its custom packaging and laid gently on the table. Then glasses divided up to those who would be partaking in a sample. Up until this point, I had no idea you could bottle your own version of that at the distillery until it was explained to me that the cast strength version of the very popular Black Barrel release was a distillery only exclusive where the purchaser had the opportunity to fill and label the bottle themselves. Kind of a whole other experience type of thing. Me not being a huge lover of the original release was a little skeptical. Still, I had the opportunity to try it, so I wasn't going to let that pass naturally. Who's gonna turn down free whiskey? Anyway, long story short, I had a glass and wow, I have to imagine, that was, that was definitely a eureka moment. My opinion immediately changed on the whole thing. Blew my mind. And I'm guilty of preferring a cast strength offering in general, but this was wow. So tasty, I remember fruity, floral, it was beautiful. I liked it so much, I actually took a trip down to distillery one day and filled a bottle for myself and my sister. Here's an awkward looking picture of me at the distillery pretending to know what I'm doing while filling the bottle. There might be another one on the screen now. Anyway, that's a bit of history, but the general talk from people in the whiskey world was of why Jameson don't bring out a cast strength version of their Black Barrel release as a release that you can get, not just in the dist distillery. I mean, anyone who had the cast drink version from the distillery absolutely raved about it. So it didn't make much sense. Those fans' voices have been heard. And here we are. Granted, this is not the 60 odd percent version from the distillery or um, whatever it is. I don't know the exact ABV as when they run out of it in the distillery, they just, tap a new casks and obviously that will have a slighter different 
ABV, but this one here is a modest 50% ABV or 100 proof for my American friends. It is a limited release, and of how many bottles, I don't really know. It's Jameson, so I'm imagining it to be in the thousands and in only a few select stores around Ireland and the Jameson online shop as well, as well as Dublin Airport. Get this, price point, 60 euros for a triple distilled, non-age statement, blended Irish whiskey that is 50% ABV or 100 proof, 60 euros. Here comes the technical bit. Black Barrel Proof is made from pot still and grain whiskies that have been matured in a combination of American oak, sherry casks, and double charred X bourbon barrels, which is said to give a much deeper flavor experience. Thumbs up here. An interesting fact about this when I was doing my research is that the grain whiskey used in the Jameson Black Barrel is only produced about once or twice a year at Middleton. It is a different type of grain distillate that is used here in comparison to the other Jameson releases. It's not all the one like I thought. This gives off a much more robust flavor. What's interesting about the Black Barrel release is that Jameson will double char the inside of the barrels they use and only for Black Barrel. Um, and they call this rechar a level five rechar or a crocodile rechar as when the inside of the barrel is done, it resembles a crocodile skin. Again, focus here is on robust flavors and big interaction between spirit and wood. This is the only whiskey that Jameson will double char its casks for. For the uninitiated, charring the barrel is commonplace in the whiskey industry around the world. Charring the barrel opens up the veins of the wood or the grain and leaves access for the whiskey to penetrate deep into the membrane, drawing out a lot of oak influence and sweetness. It's like almost a caramelizing and crystallizing of all those sugars, which will have a massive influence on the whiskey over time. So let's keep this short and sweet. You see what I did there? We're gonna get it in the glass. We're gonna have a little taste. I like being seal breaker. Before I do that, as I always do at this point, if you liked any of that information and wanna keep up to date with some of the best Irish whiskey releases, be sure to give me a now follow and a thumbs up, particularly if you liked any part of this video. Mucho grassy ass. Also, doing a calendar for charity purposes. One euro of every sale goes to charity. It's a Distilleries of Ireland 2022 calendar, which features the one and only Irish distillers in Middleton County Cork, where, to see this here, it's the home. It's the home of Jameson. Technically Bow Street was, but anyway, it's, this is the new home of Jameson. I'll leave a link below where you can find out and get one. And we pour. Let's go through the spec. 50% ABV or 100 proof, non-age statement, triple distilled, blended Irish whiskey using a combination of American oak, sherry, and double charred bourbon casks. That crocodile skin I reminded you about. As far as I can tell right now, this looks like an Irish only release. Um, I'm really hoping it might become more widely available down the road so everyone can try it. But at a price point of 60 euros and uh, a huge fan base, honestly, I can't see this lasting too long. On the nose. Vanilla, definitely. Caramel, yes. Toffee notes kind of coming through there. Little bit chocolatey. Comes across as a touch thin on the nose. Touch, not massive. Getting a little bit of interaction, or not interaction, but a little bit of the grain at the very back of it. You have to stick your nose right down into it now to get it. I'm just pulling this apart and being extra I'm critiquing this quite hard. Um, on general nosing, you're probably gonna get a lot of the sweetness, the toffee, um, the chocolatey notes, maybe even a hint of butterscotch on it as well. That's interesting. Nice nose, thumbs up to that. Let's have a little taste, Slanja. Oh yes. First thing that comes across right is the spicy notes. Boom, right there, all about it, all spice. Uh, not all spice, but very, very spicy. Underneath that and intertwined with it is two things. I got 
butterscotch. So apparent on the palate, not so, yeah, I really had to search for it on the nose, but on the palate, that stands out along with some real kind of um, vanilla bean kind of sweetness. That Those two notes stick out the, mo the most for me. Not as thin as the nose might suggest. Um, it's, it's, it's quite robust, there's a lot going on there. Medium complexity, I would say, me small to medium complexity, I, I, you know. Um, lovely vanilla and butterscotch you finish on the, on the oh I get to the finish in a minute but kind of a small to a medium complexity I would say whereas the palate kind of evolved a little bit there from the initial spice you know, anyway let's have another little sip Sanja. touch of the wood at the end kind of a, a charry note um, not smoky but like a char but again your toffee Vanilla, spice. Um, not getting any youth elements to it there, I don't find particularly. But really, like, it's like the Jemson regular black barrel turned up to 11 with the proof. The finish. This is interesting. This is where the vanilla really comes through and shines through, and the finish in the palette. And I want to say a touch of butterscotch, but it's more, the vanilla is definitely stronger. It's definitely more apparent. It's more obvious. It's quite robust. I mean, it really is. Nice hang time on it, still going. Not incredibly dry either. It doesn't dry out the mouth. It's not puckery. It kind of leaves a nice little bit of a kind of richness to it, to your, to your palate. 50% ABV. 60 euros. I, I wish they would stop doing limited editions like this. I think it's, this should be a core range. I reserve, I reserve my opinions for just a moment. Right, so not a super complex release by any means. As I said, it kind of small to medium, like, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, if you like Black Barrel, you're absolutely, you're going to love this. I would love to see this as a core range release, I think, for Jameson. The Black Barrel has a wide fan base and having this as a core range product would certainly open it up to more people and ultimately gain an even wider fan base for this particular whiskey. And I'm not blowing smoke. I do genuinely think it's that good. I'm, like, I'm not hugely partial to the regular 40% ABV version of this release. It just, it doesn't really do it for me. But for an extra 10 euro, I'd be all over this one. Really impressed with it, and yes, Another brilliant release from Irish Distillers. Well done all. So that's definitely all I got for you this week. I'll be putting this one on my Christmas list. It is of course here in Chrissy's for you, should you like to try it in some time, when you're, whenever you come in sometime and you're in the neighborhood. A special thank you to the lads here for hooking me up with the goods today. All thoughts are of course my own. Until the next video, I'm the Whiskey Chaser Brian. Keep it Irish. Sláinte.